Mr. Knight, Mr. Knight, Mr. Knight. Why is your hair so long? <laughs> well, uh, it's been a long quarantine. Meanwhile, Blue Jays must be out today. Nice morning tonight, this morning. Motorsport, yeah. put that thing in sports. Shout it bad, pop it like a court. Pop it, hey. you a dork. Dude. Never been a sport. Dork.
morning. Hold on, hold on. We gotta check your temperature. Come on, don't be shy. Oh, you're good. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. How are you doing, Mr. Dunn? Wonderful. Can't wait to work with you guys this year. There's not enough people in chamber. Can you join chamber? Can you join chamber? Can you go up your sixth period? No, no way. Can you go up your sixth period so we can join chamber, please? No. Please, we need trumpet players. No. <laughs> can you go in chamber? Uh, what's the chamber? Good morning, man. Good morning, Mr. Uh, good morning. Good morning, man. Good morning, man. Good morning, good morning, good morning Mr. Dobb. Now, as most of you, not most of you, as the seniors and upperclassmen know, we are the most prestigious band in all of the United States. And we expect a lot of you, at least three hours of practice every single day. You can ask the old people, they do at least six hours of practice every single day, without a doubt. Now, I know COVID has taken a lot of us. There's only five people in here. But we persevere. Mr. Dunn? We make no excuses. Mr. Dunn? At all. <sighs> what? Uh, Troy Berry check out. You heard him. As I was saying, we make no excuses. This year will be just like last year, and the year before that, and the year before that. Good morning, Mr. Corn. Good morning, Sean. Can I uh, take your temperature? By all means. Remember guys, this is your band. What are you going to do with it? Now, that's the natural. people I bet you didn't even know you could do this think about what you could do years from now <laughs> that was that was incredible Mr. Dunn <laughs> are we warm all right handle in the strand I'll wait Please go ahead, finish your conversation. Are we done? Okay, children, handle in the stern. Mark it. 
Do you have a pencil? Mark it in your pen. Did you two just switch instruments? You know we're in the middle of a pandemic, right? You know, I thought, I thought we had leaders in this band, not just people in leadership positions. So guys, when I was in college, I really needed to make that money last. So I came up with the thing to eat off of $10 a week. Now, for starters, you need Publix ground beef, Barilla tomato sauce, although Rouse if I have the money at the time. You need whole wheat noodles, must be whole wheat. You need a nice bell pepper. And then one large onion to hold Did it you say onion? onion? What on God's green earth are you doing on my computer? Do I come into your house, get on your computer, touch your things? Would you come into my house and do that to me? Why are you on my computer? Good morning, class. Yes, okay. okay, good morning. Good morning, Miss Whaley. Good morning, Miss Whaley. Thank you. Good morning, Miss Whaley. Good morning, Miss Whaley. Good morning, Miss Whaley.
trip is back on. Let's go! Well guys, it's been a great rehearsal. I'm gonna go fishing with Scooter. You get a line, I get a pole. We'll go fishing in the crawfish hole. Five car poker on Saturday night, church on Sunday morning. You get a line, you get a line I, get a pole. I get a pole. We'll go fishing, we'll go fishing in the crawfish Down hole. In the Five car nice. poker on Saturday night, church on Sunday morning. My senior memory has to be my sophomore year when we were in the chorus room at Davidson because they shut off the power and there was mold everywhere. And I was sitting, sitting in an air conditioned room and I locked my knees apparently and I passed out and then Lucas kicked me, tried to catch me and I rolled into my drum and fell over. And that's where I got my nickname Blackout. My senior memory is from sophomore year, we were marching and we were in the block. Hayden decided to stand still and lock his knees or something, I don't know. But he fell and I laughed and then he fainted and I stopped laughing, so there's that. So my senior memory took place my sophomore year uh, during all county rehearsal. It was a Wednesday and we got out at like 8.30 p.m. I would always carpool with Joseph and for that night in particular, for some reason, his old beater of a truck wouldn't start. So me and him were over there just scrambling around in an empty parking lot after everyone had already left, trying to get the thing to work so we can go home. Mr. Dyke and Mr. Dunn eventually came walking down out of the band room. And by that time, we all had the same thought that we can't leave a truck that can't move in the middle of a high school parking lot on a school night. A lot of brain power resulted in Joseph taking the wheel, right? Putting the thing in neutral. So Dunn's got left, Dyke's got right. I've got middle. We push that bad boy in a striped, like, corner of the parking lot where no one's going to park. It stayed there overnight. Over school the next day, pretty good. Joseph's grandpa came by, picked it up in his trailer. It was all nice, jacked it up. It had a ticket. It, the school gave him a ticket for some reason. <laughs> so relatively good ending, but... Not really. Okay, this is like the fourth time I've recorded this because I feel like I keep wording everything wrong, but um, I'm currently driving to the school, but these are my two senior memories. So my first one is my freshman year at my very first uh, halftime performance, the Rivers game. I ended up falling down 
on the field during the performance. Um, all the clarinets are marching backwards, and I was marching, it was like a junior, a freshman, me, and my section leader, and a shadow was marching in the line when she shouldn't have been, and so it resulted in um, the line, the interval getting squished and squished and squished, and then the junior kind of just tripped and fell and then the freshman tripped and fell on them and then I fell on them because we can't see behind us so we don't know what's going on and then my section leader just stepped right over us um mortified does not even begin to like describe how I felt and then um my next senior memory is the fact I've gotten the privilege to um, sit next to one of my best friends in an ensemble for my entire senior year, sit behind one of my best friends, um, and just be in the band with all guys, of my friends. It's Eden who I love and so Brindley. And my senior memory would have to be from the last football game this year. So. Um, this year, me and Friendly got quarantined a lot, so basically, like, every time she got out of quarantine, I was, like, right about, like, I got into quarantine, and so for the last football game, like, a couple of days before, Friendly got quarantined, so she couldn't go to the game, and we were both really sad, and I didn't want her to miss out on, like, partying and stuff, so I, um, called her on house party, is basically like FaceTime. I called her on house party and I put her in my hat and she was like dancing with me and partying. So like during defense, she could hear the music and she was like doing the um, dance and stuff with her. And like, I would pass her around to like the different sections. Like I gave her to the horns and they were saying hi to her. And basically she got a party with us and she didn't get to miss out on her last football game. I'm not gonna lie, she probably looked pretty suspicious looking down, talking into her hat. <laughs> That's okay. Um, my senior memory would have to be when I was a freshman and we were marching and we were marching eights and I was a little freshman and I was scared of Mr. Dunn and Mr. Dyke and I didn't want anyone to get mad at me. Anyways, so I'm marching and all of a sudden we stop and we're at attention and we were at attention for probably like a minute or so but it felt like the longest time I've ever stood still because I started feeling ants biting my ankles <laughs> and so I'm like at attention trying to look down and see if I'm standing in an ant pile and I am standing in an ant pile <laughs> and I refuse to move because I was so scared to have one of them yell at me so I stood in an ant pile for a whole minute and let the ants bite me and then my ankles were destroyed for the next week and a half, two weeks. Quite terrible. Yeah. What's your senior memory? My senior memory is going to Philadelphia my sophomore year and it was so cold and I was just trying to keep walking and I looked behind me and Sam's sousaphone had icicles all over it from how cold it was. So my senior memory was earlier this year, several of us took our cars and did time trial laps through an undeveloped neighborhood. Now I didn't have a car at the time, so I used Travis's who just got his car three days prior. Now I was doing very good until the last corner when I didn't take a turn hard enough and the left wheel slammed into a pretty high curb, showing the axles and steering and costing me about $2,000 and Travis a month without the car he just got. 